Hello guys and welcome to the last video of the deconstruction Balkata mix and the song 321 uh, and this is the last video and we're going to talk about the vocals so as I said the Volcata uh, project has uh, many vocalists about eight of them um, but uh, today this song has only uh, as we see here has only one two three uh, four uh, vocalists and we're gonna I'm going to explain a bit of uh, this situation over here. Uh, so every vocalist, uh, this, as I've said on my previous uh, videos, uh, Volcata project has been recorded online, mean, meaning like from different locations, from Greece, um, Italy, uh, Germany, uh, Israel, uh, I can't remember which, uh, US, uh, France, um, so I'm sorry if I'm missing some other countries as well. Um, so it's, it's, it's been like a global project from different countries, different locations. So the singers had to sing uh, the songs on with their own setup. So it's, uh, they, nobody came in the same studio at the same time and recorded all the songs. And then they left, went back home. Um, so it's, it was kind of a difficult setup to put all these different recordings um together because you had different microphones different interfaces different um weather different um everything was different different room which is very important these things um so we i i have to i had to came up with a solution and try to make these even all right so um what i've done i've done a bit of a pre-processing um uh, pre-production with the vocals which was a bit of EQ and a bit of compression so I, I, I tried to make all of these even and then I put them in the final mixing stage uh, on my final mixing session uh, where uh, I start to do the mixing so lesson number one uh, listen to your recordings listen to what you have to work with um, evaluate and then uh, move forward to the pre-production uh, work carefully um, editing and then export to the second to the last phase and have another session for your final mix don't do everything on your one uh, session okay because things are getting very complicated so my workflow is this all right is not um, the Bible you don't have to follow that or whatever you want to do it's just uh, it's just uh, let's say an advice to maybe help you work uh, easier and more uh, efficient all right cool um, so enough with that um, let's listen uh, so uh, I, this is my screen now uh, and I have with a purple uh, the main vocals and with a lighter purple color the backing vocals all right or the harmonies um yeah this is these are the harmonies um so let's see on the mixing console here um uh, we have angel kenneth mary hadi hadi backing vocals and all these are ham harmonies as we can see from the names uh, so let's start with angel so all of these have been pre-processed and used a bit of um, slightly cue just to avoid some kind of a uh, roomy hums and stuff like that and some kind of a uh, slightly compression just to control of the dynamics and stuff okay uh, so let's start with angel I'm detecting a disturbance in the atmosphere Unidentified phenomenon is moving near. All right, let's, let's go with Kenneth. Me. I am number three, two, one. Extension of the maximum. Detections have been made of mayor movements. Here's a region where the atmosphere is spun. Their origin is alien. All right. Now we go to Mary. How wonderful the sky. 
scum, scum, alien scum, cold proof of a lie. All right, let me close the backing vocals of Hadi and let's go with Hadi. This is just at the beginning and the end of each another one. I'm Central call, three, two, one. Extension of the maximum. Are the detentions that you've made so necessary? Can we not negotiate with them? Their origin is alien. Our analysis suggesting salience. The possibility is there for peace. Start confirming the nature of this species. Please, three, two, one. Okay, so these are the main vocal lines. And if I enable the backing vocals of this section, Central call, three, two, one. Extension of the maximum. Are the detentions that you've made so necessary? Can we not negotiate with them? Their origin is alien. Our knowledge. Okay, so you got the idea. So I've done tons of work. I mean, we're talking about days of working and balancing and compression and EQing the vocals because I had to. Uh, decide which one is which and if it sounds well and if it's complement each other and if everything sounds in, in even and well because the rooms and the vocal and, and the microphones and stuff made the vocals sound very different so I think I've done my best and this is the final mixing of the um, this is the, the final mixing stage of um, of these vocals after the processing and after everything. So let's see what I've done. Uh, I've done again another uh, kind of processing after I put them in the new mixing final, uh, the new final mixing session. session. Um, so again, VCC, FGS, and again, now I'm using a different compression on the vocals uh, is the FG116 uh, Modern. Um, just to give them a different uh, vibe because before I've used a different compression. Um, and the trimmer, just in case, uh, to control the levels. So with Angel, I'm going to go back on Angel uh, here. So let's listen what it sounds without. I'm detecting a disturbance in the atmosphere. Unidentified phenomenon is moving me. Okay, let's go with it. I'm detecting a disturbance in the atmosphere. So you can um, listen, the hum is going about 60. I've added some low end, uh, removed some mid frequencies over here, and I've added a bit of 3 and 7 K, uh, not too much, just a bit, uh, just to give some air, some space. And then a bit of compression over here. I'm detecting a disturbance in the atmosphere. Unidentified phenomenon is moving near. Cool. Uh, so I think that sounds quite good. Um, and what about Kenneth? Let's see, Kenneth is coming over here. I am number three, two, one. Extension of the maximum. So Kenneth used a different hardware, different mics, different interfaces. So what I've done, I just removed, I always remove 60 uh, to 80 hertz on my low, low end, just to remove any hums, anything that is interfering with my very low frequencies. Uh, from cables, from, from whatever kind of noise you can imagine. Um, and then I've added uh, about 150, 160 hertz. I've added a bit of 3, 4, four uh, dBs. I haven't done anything on the low mids uh, because I've done a bit of processing before, but I've added a bit of a couple of dBs, uh, same as before in Angel, um, in 5, in 7 and 3 Ks. And again, FG... 11.6 modern, the blue one. Uh, and let's listen how Kenneth sounds like without. I am number three, two, one. And with. I am number three, two, one. Extension of the maximum. So it sounds okay, sounds well. Sounds f nice to, m to my ears. And I think with the 
Uh, top end here, it sounds a bit more um, airy, and this is what I actually need because of the mic difference. Uh, so I try to balance every different uh, mic. So let's go back to the next to the next one, Mary. Uh, oh, we forgot the reverb. Oh yeah, I'm gonna add the reverb later on. Uh, Mary is here. Okay, let's listen to Mary without. How wonderful the scum, scum, alien scum, cold proof of love. And with? How wonderful the scum, scum, alien scum. Okay, so we've done pretty much the same, uh, the same thing. Uh, 60, 160, about 4 dB, and again, uh, 3 dB uh, on 7.5 and 3K. Nothing on the low mid, and again, similar compression, so it's hitting about ah! 5. Okay, uh, so I've done uh, some processing before, and I've done some processing uh, later in the final mixing stage. Um, Let's listen to Hadi. Uh, where is Hadi? Hadi is here. Okay. Uh, let's listen to him without. Central call three, two, one. Extension of the maximum. Are there the tensions that you've made so necessary? Okay, let's enable that. Central call three, two, one. Extension of the maximum. Okay, so I think that um, you can actually hear the difference now uh, comparing to the previous recordings of Kenneth and Mary in this one that we can actually listen to the difference in the low mids and the high frequencies of what is happening when we engage the uh, VMR. Central call, three, two, one. Extension of the maximum. And this one. So we can listen the high end. We can listen what is happening with the high frequencies and the high mid frequencies. Actually, it's again 2.3 and 3 dBs and 3 and the 7K. But here, what I've done, I just cut about 500 uh, low um, in the mid frequencies, about 500, I just cut 3 dBs. And that um, gave us a bit more um clarity let's say to my vocals all right so same compression rates uh i haven't changed anything uh, uh if you if you see my previous channels we have similar compression rates just a slightly different input but um we we are aiming three to five db um so let's add the um let's add the uh, uh, sorry, the the reverb to that. So for the reverb, I've I've chose the CLA vocal. All right, which is fantastic. Uh, it's an all time classic, and uh, we are very happy that we are able to use that through these uh, Verb Suite Classic collection. Um, and let's enable that to all my vocals, and let's listen how it sounds like to oh, we're here with Hadi. Okay, let's use that. Yeah. Sorry about that. Let's close the harmonics. Central call three two one. Extension of the maximum. Are there the tensions that you've made so necessary? Nice tail. This is a classic 480 uh, reverb. And this is uh, a trick from the CLA's uh, lessons, uh, which I've used as a preset. It is a preset in the repeater uh, called the 8th Delay CLA uh, preset, which actually what it does is just using a different left and right timing, uh, which I actually really liked on this song. Uh, and I've used it as it was. No changing. So let's listen what it does. I'm alive. Central call, three, two, one. Extension of the maximum Are there the tensions that you've made so necessary? Can we not negotiate with them? Their origin is alien 
So you can listen that tail and the time difference, what kind of effect it creates, uh, which is really, really, really nice. And thank you, CLA, for that. Um, and uh, let's, as in my previous videos, all these vocals are going to their own bus, uh, which we have here, uh, just the uh, VCC and the JST uh, clip. Again, two blue, um, two blue blocks, They're just doing the normal job. And uh, just for the sake of the dynamics, I just minimized uh, by one dB. I just drop it one dB down the main uh, vocal bus, just to keep everything even. Um, so uh, let's listen to what we have done so far. I'm gonna have, this a very useful thing um, Presonus has. We're gonna go, I'm gonna create another video for that. Um, so I'm gonna close all of these. Uh, actually, I'm gonna keep the electronics on because it starts with some effects. So let's listen. Disturbance in the atmosphere
Wow, so that was the whole song after the five videos we've done and the editing and the processing and days and months and uh, all of the work we've done with the uh, singers, the players, the uh, main composer and all the team in Volcata. So please guys enjoy the album. Uh, thanks a lot for watching the videos. I'll put all the uh, links uh, in the description below so you can go and listen to the album on the Spotify. Buy it. You can buy the album on, on Badcamp. Uh, thanks for watching. Please click subscribe, uh, re uh, hit the bell, comment, share, uh, give me ideas for the next videos. Uh, please uh, comment and that will help me a lot to improve my videos and to um, uh, grow my channel. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked it. The Volcata Project album is a great album. It's worth your time and... Uh, I think with the guys, we've done amazing work. I hope you enjoyed all these videos of the deconstruction mix. Um, so hit me with new ideas, what you would like to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Cheers.